that she has under her belt in season. So we will see how the two pair up. North Carolina coming in red hot, playing at home as they start off with the ball. This is a team that has won eight of their last nine. It's interesting, Miami starting out in a little bit of a zone, a matchup zone, leaving Renan Kelly open in the three and she knocks it down. Short shot clock as Day Wilson has some decisions to make. Sends it off. Jasmine Roberts pulls up baseline, gets it to drop. Left all alone, able to get it in the open floor and finishes. Yeah, I love Usby's ability. Zanarski has the ball up top. Had the first 10 points for the Tar Heels in their previous game as another trade is knocked down by Kelly. A uh, good look here. She's hit another one from the opposite corner. So she was like, let me run the baseline and knock down another one. Dave Wilson a little bit trying to disrupt in the backcourt. Perfect word, disrupt the flow of the Tar Heels as Donarski rattles that one in. And that's a good sign. They haven't even, they've barely hit the paint thus far. Jay Wilson, we see you as she knocks down a tray of her own. That is her 100th career three pointer. Gets the steal on the other end, and here come the Hurricanes. Julia Williams pulls up on the inside and a nice bucket for the mid-range. You want to try to have good spacing, right? You don't. You never want to start creeping into that, inside that three-point line. You just have to be aware of your surroundings. The gamble to no avail, so a bucket for Donarski. Deja Kelly. Transition to really excelling on the high school level, coming over to a... Power 5 school in Carolina and trying to take care of business, leading the floor as Lexi Donarski. And here is a nice off-the-bounce look for Donarski. Yeah, when you're a shooter, a lot of times they try to run you off the... On your pool. Blocked at the rim. Tasha Lattimore. You're not going to stop an opponent all the way, so he's making their, diff their looks be as difficult as possible. Five on the game clock. Kelly found some space on the baseline. attack the lane, have a nice little escape dribble into a fadeaway jumper. That's a nice and one. Yeah, we got rest, but so did NC State when they came in to play us, and they did not look like they were in rhythm. Miami right now looking for that rhythm, rhythm after their break. You know you have those slumps. You did talk about the rhythm. You talked about the turnovers as well. What more can you see as Deja Kelly? Wow. Wow. Another and one. Coming off from a double-double performance in their upset win over Louisville for the Tar Heels. Numbers on this in. Got dang off the glass. Beautiful touch. Five on the shot clock for Miami. They've just been hovered. Dwyer outside. How about it? Much-needed bucket. Kelly found some space, pulls up, and when you look at her game, average about 17 a game. They're really limiting themselves and scoring opportunities with all of these turnovers, but Miami able to get a turnover of their own. Hopefully that gives them a little bit of energy on the defensive end. And For Miami and Tar Heels, Andrew Gray alongside Chelsea Gray on the call as we're approaching the halfway mark of the second quarter. Big time performance by Renaya Kelly. Deja Kelly, after spending some time on the bench, able to find her way into a bucket, lost the shoe. Never lost the shoe and just knocked down a bucket. The problem is she can't get it back on. <laughs> and Miami able to knock down their third triple of the night. These last couple of games, and she had to meditate a couple of times as another three is knocked down. A great job coming in transition, and Seven just running the floor, getting to her spots, and was able to have a player that can stretch the floor for you. He would have knocked down the three there. Attempts another one. How about it? Back to back threes for Allie Stedman. Finds a spot on the floor.
all-time leading scorer and rebounder. My neck of the woods as still at the top of the key, and that's the number one thing. We talked about both teams being heavily. Double screens at the top of the key. Usby tries to sneak it in. Got Dane knowing where she is and is able to finish. Williams close to jumping the screen there. Has the assignment for Deja Kelly. Denarski pulls up. Knocks that one down and continues from her first half play. Adamore able to heave that one in or pull that one in and blocked. Usby not having it. She wants to get to that right hand for that layup and just able to outstretch her hand and get the block. Full court pressure, Renai Kelly left alone, turns down the three for a better look, God dang! This was a great pass by Renai Kelly, could have taken that three-point jumper, but God dang had the Tar Heels. A lot of length and athleticism underneath for both sides as God dang is having one night for herself. See, Usby gets that pass from Deja Kelly, and right there, an easy seal by Doc Dane to just go right up for the layup. Donarski strikes! Usby with an early deep seal. but then nice poise and control on this move. A nice lay in. You're right, Angel, we might have to put that on the highlight reel. And I'm gonna rep them and do the best I can for them on the sidelines as well. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I like that. They're really connectivity. And it starts from the top. And when your head coach is that much involved with the players. This handles on the inside by Patrick. Another turnover, Zernai Kelly advances. Numbers, Donarski, three ball. The collective awe from the audience says Donarski can't knock that one down. Patrick pulls up for a three, knocks it down. Stedman outside lines up, bounces around, nothing there. Spearman able to knock that one down and may get an opportunity to get three the hard way. Okay, so she shoots this basketball, doesn't get it to go, but crashing the glass was Patrick and Spearman able to. Wilson, almost use a screen, SB! Sends that to the Pete Smith Arena. Yeah, she's coming down, she tries to run the lane and just there, right place, right time. Stedman, seeing a lot more attention on the defensive end as Dwyer finds the bottom of the net on that one. Dwyer with seven, as we mentioned, So a bucket goes down, Alyssa Usby. Nice ball movement for Miami. Leads to the triple. She has six rebounds to add to that stat line. Dwyer working on the inside. Spearman able to clean that one up. Spearman has been at the right. Miami outscoring them right now, eight to three in the fourth quarter. A couple of substitutions on the way for uh, North Carolina. Deja Kelly working herself to the rim. And... Day Wilson, top of the key. Three, count it. Miami keeping them in this ball game. Only down seven, down as many as 19. Deep seal. Got Dane going at Spearman. Kelly looking up the floor, surveying, finding Usby. Everyone crashing the boards for Miami. The dish to Day Wilson, she pulls up. Three ball, another one for Miami. Make it 11. Usby with four on the shot clock. Yeah, nice drive by here with the shot clock running down. She really hangs in the air and able to finish that. Five players in double figures in ACC play this season. Less than two minutes to play in the ball game. Step back. Wow! Players making a name for themselves. A minute left. Off the top of the glass. Cheyenne Day Wilson with 17 points. 
mean, she was doing a dribbling clinic at the top of the key and was able to get into the lane. Left hand. Miami was down as many as 19. Can they pull off the upset? Dwyer! 